hello hello everyone i am dr am fatima today i am taking non inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier actually in this configuration the input signal is applied to the positive terminal of the op amp that is non inverting terminal of the op amp which means that the output gain of the amplifier becomes positive and the result of this is that the output signal is in phase with the input signal so this is the diagram this this is showing the op amp a positive terminal is showing the non inverting terminal and negative terminal showing inverting terminal here the input is given to this positive terminal so when this input is given to this operation amplifier on the positive terminal this amplify the input signal with the, without any phase that is the signal is in phase with the input signal now the open loop non inverting amplifier this is the circuit diagram of the open loop non inverting amplifier you can see uh, the input voltage is connected to the positive terminal of the op amp and negative terminal is grounded the voltage available at the uh, negative terminal is taken as v2 and the voltage at the positive terminal is taken as v1 the output is taken from here vcc and ve are connected for the vcc so v1 is equal to input voltage v in so uh, we know that output voltage is equal to a multiplied by v1 minus v2 v1 is this voltage and v2 is this voltage and a is the open loop gain of the op amp now we can say v1 is equal to v in and v2 is equal to 0 since it is grounded so v2 equal to 0 now put these values of v1 and v2 in this equation so this output voltage becomes v not equal to a v in minus 0 so this is equal to v not equal to a v in this is the output voltage of the open loop in non inverting amplifier here the positive is coming at the output it means the output is in phase with the input signal Now, do a numerical determine the output voltage of open loop non-inverting amplifier if input voltage is one microvolt. Draw the input and output waveforms. We know the output voltage for the non-inverting amplifier is equal to V not equal to A multiplied by V in. Here, the input voltage is one microvolt, and the gain of the op amp for seven four one IC is two into ten raised to five. This is open loop gain for the seven four one IC. Input voltage is one microvolt. That is one into ten raised to minus six. So put these values here. So I wrote here. So the value comes. Uh, this is one into ten raised to minus six multiplied by two into ten raised to five. So this come out to be point two volt actually. So this is equal to point two volt. Now you see the waveforms here. In this waveform, you can see here the input is given. This is yellow color is showing the. Uh, input waveform and this uh, dark pink color waveform shows the output uh, output voltage output waveform of non inverting amplifier so this uh, uh, input is given this uh, wave is given to the positive terminal of the non inverting terminal non inverting amplifier this amplifies the signal and keeps the this output signal in phase of this input signal take another numerical determine the output voltage of open loop non inverting amplifier if input voltage is 1 volt draw the input and output waveforms now the solution of this we know that the output voltage is equal to a multiplied by v in here the input voltage is 1 volt and a we know that a is equal to 2 into 10 to 5 for open loop op amp 741 ic put these values here And two into ten is to five multiply by one. So this is this comes out to be two into ten is to five. So this is a theoretical value. Actually, this is very high uh, voltage, and this is not possible in the op amp to get it. The operation amplifier can get the value um, less than VCC, and this value is called plus V saturation or minus V saturation. That is the voltage swing of the op amp. So here the output voltage is equal to fourteen volts. So this is the practical value. The output of 
this output of this non inverting amplifier will be 14 volt that is the plus desaturation or voltage swing of the 741 ic this 2 into 10 is to 5 this output voltage is not possible to get in any op amp circuit the output can be available this will be less than vcc and which is equal to 14 volt generally in 741 ic the vcc is 15 volt and the saturation voltage is 14 volts so here i wrote v not equal to 14 volts now see the waveforms this is the input waveform here the sine wave is given the output is very very high 2 into 10 to 5 but the uh, available output is only 14 volts so the signal is cut down at the plus v saturation from at plus v saturation at minus v saturation so this ac signal or the sine wave is converted into the the square wave uh, the output of this numerical is plus v saturation and minus v saturation so the sine wave is converted into a square wave now non inverting amplifier with feedback here you can see the feedback is connected at the negative terminal of the op amp and at the positive terminal of the op amp the input voltage input supply is connected r2 rf consists of feedback network comprises feedback network the voltage present here at the positive terminal is denoted by v1 which is equal to v in this is a feed this is a uh, potential divider network which is drawn here see here this is a potential divider network r2 rf the out see here this voltage see the, out at this point the voltage is available this is v2 voltage and which is the voltage uh, drop across this here this is taken as v1 this voltage v1 is taken here okay. now this voltage v1 is equal to v out multiplied by r2 upon r2 plus rf because of this potential divider network so v1 is equal to r2 upon r2 plus rf multiplied by v out now the ideal summing point uh, because of this v1 becomes equal to this v1 becomes equal to v in so put this v1 equal to v in here so mm, it is equal to v in equal to r2 upon r2 plus rf into v out now take out the value v out by v in which is equal to gain of the non inverting amplifier so it is equal to r2 plus rf upon r2 that is 1 plus rf upon r2 this is the gain of the non inverting amplifier it means the non inverting amplifier depends on the value of feedback resistance and r2 resistance that is the gain of the inverting amplifier depends on the feedback network here the positive signs appear there is no negative sign that's why the output voltage will be in phase of input voltage now see here this is a diagram for the non inverting amplifier in input and output waveform where the gain is varying so see this uh, the orange color this orange color waveform is showing the input signal and the purple color waveform shows the output signal this input signal is given to the non inverting amplifier this signal is amplified and it is in phase with this input signal but here you can see the, the amplitude is varying it means the value if the value of the rf and r1 are changes the gain will be changed so the output voltage value will be changed so this is possible to change the amplification of the output of the non inverting amplifier but the phase will not be changed by changing the value of rf and r1 thank you this completes this lecture